A piece of technology that's in parts of Detroit was not there to alert police when someone started shooting it at random. Tonight, Mayor Duggan rushing to expand the coverage of ShotSpotter despite the concerns of some. Good to have you with us tonight at 6. The idea is pretty simple, making sure police are alerted the moment a gunshot is fired instead of waiting for someone to call 911. Some city leaders believe shot spotter could have saved one or more of the three lives lost to an active shooter Sunday morning. And as we await official charges in that case, the mayor and others are speaking out in favor of the technology. Sean Lay got an up close look at how spot shotter works. Sean, uh, for some though, this is a tough sell. Devin, Kimberly, everyone, walk with me here because it is a tough, tough sell for some calling it Big Brother. We're talking about sensors in neighborhoods, potentially your neighborhood. You won't be able to see those sensors. We wanted to see this technology up close today to see what ShotSpotter is all about and how it works. Take a look. During Sunday's active shooter emergency, Detroit's mayor says police told him flat out. If we had had ShotSpotter, there's an excellent chance we would have arrested him by five in the morning. Shot spotter takes all the guesswork out. Some calling the technology controversial. We want to show you exactly what it is. A person in the neighborhood outdoors fires a gun. The sensors pick up that. Detroit Police Captain Anthony O'Rourke takes us inside the Detroit Police Real Time Crime Center for a real example. Shots fired on Beaconsfield. No one calls 911. A shot spotter sensor picks up the shots. A shot spotter analyst alerts DPD. Officers are sent right to where the shots were fired. The key, the time from shots fired to dispatching officers. One minute. Yeah, very One quick. Minute. One minute. Take example what happened on Sunday with the uh, active shooter, right? The faster we can get out there, start doing, able to do detective work, able to identify video and picture assets, the quicker we can actually get somebody in custody. Sunday's tragedy today reigniting a call from the mayor and police for city council to spend seven million COVID relief fund dollars to expand shot spotter in the city. Others argue the money can be better spent elsewhere. Today, the mayor again points to Sunday's shootings and the need for shot spotter. How is somebody spending a half hour with a dead body laying on the sidewalk on Wyoming? standing nearby and nobody comes, and then he murders a second person three blocks away. And the argument there would be with shot spotter, it would pick up those gunshots and a police car officers would be rolled that way. Look, neighborhood watch here in this area, you know, that's kind of what you're used to picking up the phone, hearing gunshots, letting Police know about those gunshots. Police say in many of the examples are telling us no one called 911. They want that added tool for police. There will be no vote on this anytime soon, guys. We're talking about $7 million in COVID relief bill. So it's a big decision here. When council gets back, there'll be more discussion and they will be asked to uh, eventually vote on this down the line sooner rather than later. We're live tonight. Sean Lee, Local 4, back to you. Okay, Sean, thanks.